Hello, I'm Brian Siders, and I'm the lead developer for Connections Online. And today we're going to go through a short web services demo using Visual Studio 2010. And let's get started. I have uh, the Ultimate Edition of Visual Studio 2010, but the Express Edition works just as well. And you can grab that for free from Microsoft at microsoft.com slash express. But uh, for me, I've already got the Ultimate, so I'm going to use it. Let's start with uh, File and uh, New Project. I'm going to use Visual Basic for this example. And you know, Web Project and ASP.NET Empty Web Application. I'll just use uh, the default name it gave it, Web Application 1, and hit OK. And with the empty one, it basically gives us nothing. It starts out with just a web config file. Uh, the first thing I need to do is right-click on Web Application 1 and say Add a Service Reference, and this is going to be our reference to our web services. And this is HTTPS. Uh, and it's going to be cows.connectionsonline.net slash read.sbc, and that's our read service. We have four services available, but this one uh, allows us to read stuff from the system. And we also have a create, an update, and a delete available. So I hit go, and it shows me that it found it. And if I click on the drop down and then click on the read app underneath of it, it shows me some of the operations I have available. And if I go to the bottom, the namespace, I'm going to call this um, read cows for Connections Online Web Services. Hit OK. And that'll add a service references folder there and show you that it has a read cow service. And now I'm going to add a new web page to use this. So I go to right click on the web application, say add and new item. And I'm going to use a web form and change the name to default.aspx just so it's the default page for this website or web application. And I'm going to switch to design mode real quick and drag a couple of text boxes over from the toolbox. The first one, I'm going to go to the properties, set the ID, and name it to username. And then the second one, I'm going to drag over next to it and I'm going to set its ID to password. And I'm also going to set it's text mode from single line to password, so it shows the stars or dots instead of the text when I typed in a password. And then I'm going to put a button next to that and set the text on it to the word update and set the name of that button to update as well. Finally, I'm going to add a grid from the data section in the toolbox. If you look for the grid view and just drag it over, I'm just going to use this default one, not change anything on it, uh, just to show you what that does first. And now, if I double click on the update button, I'm going to go to the code behind for the update click, and here's where I do a little bit of coding. I'm going to say dim c as new read cows, read client. This is our client object that we're going to use to get to the web service. And I'm going to do a project p object because we're going to pull out a list of projects. And I'm actually going to make that ray Now that I have those two set up, I'm going to, in that client object, set my client credentials. We require you to log in. So first is going to be the username, and let's set the username equal to what we type in the username text box. Client credentials, username, password. 
set it to what we type in the password box. And then all we have to do is say P is now going to be equal to C dot read, and we can read whatever. So we've got all these different methods, but we're going to be pulling projects out. So read projects. And in here we've got a bunch of options. We can set, we can tell it just to give the ID for the project, but we're not going to do that, or the site ID. But if you only have access to one site, um, you know, no or nothing is probably fine there. Organization, so you can say, give me a list of projects for a specific organization. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to say, give me uh, all of them. So I'm going to say nothing here as well. And for the deleted byte, this is an option on a lot of these. Uh, zero is the default, and that's to show me a normal list. One shows me deleted items, and two shows me the normal list with deleted items. So I'm just going to say zero. And now, just to clean stuff up, after you open up this read client object, it's a good idea to close it again when you're done. And now we just set grid view, set its data source to that P that we just oh, filled full of project objects or items equals P. And do one, and we're going to say data bind. And that's it. So those lines of code will pull in all of the data from that project table. I'll save this and then I'm going to say view in browser. It pulls up the browser and I'm going to use a login that I have for a test site. And update and it's going to work a little bit to compile this page and to do the first call to the web services which can take a little bit longer. But as soon as it gets it, it'll pull up the grid with all of the data from that re that method returns. So I've got a list of IDs for the projects, a parent ID, site ID stuff. So you get name and description and rank and basically every field that you'd want uh, from project list. And it kind of goes down. So it shows you how it filled up this grid pretty well. And now that I've got a little bit of time left, I'm going to go back to Visual Studio. I'm just going to clean that up a little bit with this grid. So if I take the grid on that button next to it, auto format, I'll give it a classic look and edit the columns to add a bound field and set the field to name and set the header text up here to name or project. And I'm also going to add another bound field, header text, dollar sign, or pound sign, and data field is going to be display rank. And I'm going to move that up before the project and add another one with header text of status and data field status name. And I'm going to turn off the auto-generate fields, and that'll get rid of all those ones that we showed by default. Hit OK. Now I've got specific fields in here. Save that. And right-click and view in browser again. It's going to show me the same thing. JD, password, hit update. It's going to recompile it again because I just changed a few things. But it'll pull it up. And... Now it should show the grid with there it goes with the new style and just the numbers, projects, and statuses. You can kind of show them there, and it's kind of jumbled up here. And you can set sorting and things like that. But that's it. Enjoy.